Hello my dear age standard students, welcome back for today's class, Civics Unit 5, Road Safety Rules and Regulation. In this module, we are going to discuss about the importance of road safety and the safety measures to be followed while driving. Let me move on to the video session. Civics Unit 5, Road Safety Rules and Regulations. Our entire civilization has been based upon some of our extraordinary infrastructures which give us speed and connectivity. The roads are one of the most crucial inventions of man. Introduction Transport has become an integral part of every human being. Roads minimizes the distance but on the other hand, road accident injures lakhs of people and results in loss of lives. Road safety is primarily meant about to protect and provide security of all those who travel on roads. Importance of Road Safety Every day the newspaper report of road accidents occurring frequently. Road accidents are undesired event that lead to injury or death. These deaths and injuries result in significant social and economic cost. The problem does not lie with road. It is our carelessness that result in such misfortune. The loss of life result in the loss of livelihood. Direct consequences of accidents. Fatality that is death. Injury, property damage, etc. Reasons for the road accidents Overspeeding, drunken driving, distraction to drivers, red light jumping, avoiding safety gears. Overspeeding The higher the speed, greater the risk. Increase in speed multiples the risk of accident and severity of injury during an accident. Tailgating is illegal and dangerous habit. Tailgating means driving too close behind a vehicle. Drunken driving. Consumption of alcohol reduces concentration. It ambers vision due to dizziness and driving under the influence of alcohol causes accident. Distraction to drivers. Distraction could be outside or inside the vehicle. The major distraction nowadays is talking on mobile phones while driving. The act of talking on phone occupies the major portion of the brain function and the smaller part handles the driving skills. Some other distractions are inattentive or lost in thought that is daydreaming, adjusting mirrors while driving, stereo in vehicle, animals on road, banners and billboards etc. Red light jumping The main motive behind red light jumping is saving time. Studies have shown that traffic signals followed properly by all the drivers saves time and reach destination safely on time. Avoiding safety gears Use of seat belt in four wheelers and helmets for two wheelers have been brought under law. These two things reduce the severity of injury during accidents. Other different factors for road accident with driver Overspeeding, rash driving, violation of rules and consumption of alcohol. With pedestrian, carelessness, illiteracy, crossing at wrong places and moving on roads. With passengers, projecting their body outside the vehicle by talking to drivers, travelling on footboards, catching a running bus etc. With vehicles, failure of brakes, tyre burst and overloading. With road condition, damaged road, potholes, illegal speed breakers. Weather conditions, fog, snow, heavy rainfall, wind storms and hail storms. Safety measures. Always keep to the left. Slow down on bends and turn. Use helmet. Make it a habit of strapping the helmet. Never exceed the speed limit. Maintain the right distance. Park the vehicles only along the designated parking base or zones, not at the sides of the highways. Follow the road signs. Some other safety tips are. Never ever drive when drunk. Never use cell phone while driving. Avoid listening to loud music. Always wear seat belts. Always remain calm while driving. For pedestrian, cross only at zebra crossing. The two minutes time that you waste for the signals are worth your life. Never cross on red and yellow light. Take a sidewalk and avoid walking on the roads. The 108 Emergency Response Service it is a free emergency service providing integrated medical ambulance, police and fire services. If you find any victims on road, don't panic. Call 108 for help and 103 for traffic accidents. Broken white line. Basic marking on roads. You may change lanes and are allowed to overtake a vehicle 
or take U turn if it is safe to do so. Solid white line seen on areas of strategic importance. This implies that you are not allowed to overtake and to stay within the lane. Single solid yellow lines used in areas where visibility is low. It implies that you can overtake and should drive on your side. Double solid yellow lines used on dangerous roads or for two-way traffic. Stop line. This is marked before the pedestrian crossing and sets the deadline where car should stop before traffic signal. Solid and broken lines. If you are driving on the side with the broken line, you are allowed to overtake. And if you are driving on the side of the solid line, you are not. Traffic signs. Traffic signs are there to regulate traffic, warn about hazards, and to guide the road users. The government has made it mandatory for a person who wants to obtain driving license to be well versed with the traffic signs. There are three types of traffic signs: mandatory signs, cautionary sign, informatory signs. Let me go through under each heading. Mandatory signs. The first category of traffic signs is mandatory signs. Violation of any mandatory traffic sign is an offence punishable by law by the Roadways and Transport Department. It give order and need to be followed strictly. They are generally in circular in shape. Cautionary signs. A total of forty cautionary traffic signs have been added by the Roadways and Transport Department. The main function of cautionary sign is to warn the driver. to take necessary action to manage the situation they are generally in triangular shape informatory signs these signs provide information to the drivers regarding directions destinations etc they are generally in rectangular shape traffic signals traffic light is a signaling device that is positioned at a road intersection pedestrian crossing to indicate when it is safe to drive ride or walk using a universal color code red this signal indicates to stop behind the stop line amber yellow this signal indicates stop do not pass through or start until green shows if by mistake you are caught in yellow signal in the middle of a large road crossing continue with care and do not accelerate in panic green this signal indicates you may go if the way is clear steady green arrow signal This signal may be provided in addition to the full green signal. Flashing red signal. It means to come to complete stop. Proceed only when the way is clear. Flashing yellow signal. It indicates to slow down and proceed with caution. Traffic rules in India. The Motor Vehicle Act 1988 passed by the Parliament which came into force in 1989 is applicable to the whole of India. On one way road the driver should allow the overtaking vehicle through the right never park the vehicle in reverse on a one way street on a two way road the driver must drive on the left side of the road it is mandatory for the driver to slow down at all interjunctions and pedestrian crossing driver should not use the horns in prohibited areas like hospital zones school zones etc It is our responsibility to give way to emergency vehicles such as army convoy fire engine and ambulance driver should use eye beam only when necessary it is important to dim the lights when there are oncoming vehicles or when driving closely behind another when the driver is slowing down his vehicle he has to raise the right arm and swing it up and down gently when the driver stopping his vehicle He has to raise the arm vertically for the indication to the other vehicles behind it. If the driver is turning right, he has to extend the arm straight out and with the palm facing front. If the driver is turning left, he has to rotate the hand in the anti-clockwise direction. In case of emergency, the hazard indicator should be used, which will switch on both the indicators. On a two-wheeler, only one pillow rider is allowed. The horn should not sound really shrill, irritating, or loud. Electronic horn is permitted. Parking vehicles in front of rescue vehicles, such as an ambulance, fire engine, or a police vehicle, is punishable by law, and the individual doing so has to pay fine. Different color number plates. Red number plate. It is used in the vehicle for the president of India and governor of states. Blue number plate. 
is given to a vehicle that is used by foreign delegates or ambassadors white number plate it means that the car belongs to a common citizen yellow number plate is for commercial vehicle essential documents a driver should possess the following documents while driving the vehicles driving license registration certificate of the vehicle taxation certificate insurance certificate fitness certificate and permit steps taken by the government to prevent road accidents the ministry of road transport and highways has taken a number of steps to prevent road accidents and road accident fatalities these include a multi pronged strategy has been adopted based on four e's engineering enforcement education and emergency care for ensuring road safety the next is improving vehicular safety standard trucks are prohibited from carrying protruding rods anti clocking brake system has been made mandatory on heavy vehicles the next is pilot projects for cashless treatment of road accident victims this project is already done in the stretch of national highways 8 and national highways 33 now it is proposed to implement this scheme along the golden quadrilateral north south and east west corridors quick response ambulances are parked in every 50 kilometers on the national highways by the national highway authority of india 824 into 7 call center to receive calls for ambulances has been created and training has been given for providing first aid to road safety volunteers the next is speed governors this device has a series of sensors that can detect how fast a vehicle is going and if this crosses the limit set by it it restricts the flow of air and fuel to the engine the last is variable message sign these are led boards which can display important information that needs to be communicated to commuters this can be used to update road users the traffic conditions in case of majority breakdowns congestions and so on road safety week road safety week is a national event aimed at raising public awareness about traffic rules and ultimately to reduce casualties due to road accidents it is also intended to reinforce road safety behavior among road users celebrating the road safety campaign was initiated by the ministry of road transport and highways national road safety week in india is organized by the national safety council of india it is an autonomous body set up by the indian government to engage the public on safety health and environmental issues national road safety week is observed in the month of january every year decade of action for road safety 2011 to 2020 decade of action for road safety 2011 to 2020 officially proclaimed by the un general assembly the decade seeks to save millions of lives by improving the safety of roads and vehicles enhancing the behavior of road users and improving emergency services together we can save millions of lives the international federation of red cross and red crescent societies suggested 10 points as follows i commit use a seat belt wear a helmet on a motorcycle drive at a safe speed and distance suitable for the conditions not drive under the influence of alcohol or drugs not use a mobile phone while driving be visible as a pedestrian or cyclist know and respect the highway code maintain my vehicle in a good condition be licensed and trained for the vehicle i drive know how to react in case of a crash now let me end with conclusion road traffic accident are predictable and therefore preventable so everyone should strictly follow the road safety rules and signs start early drive slowly reach safely dear students go through the lessons and learn book back exercise take care of yourself bye bye